Hey guys, this is Zola and this is Celebrity TV. Hey, what's going on? This is uh, Busy B. Uh, today we're going to bring you the review on FX series The People vs. O.J. Simpson. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, episode 9. Manna from Heaven, that's the episode called. Wow, did you see that? Now this episode, it looks like it's kind of getting close to the end of the trial. And this episode basically focused on Mark Furman and all his racist rants. Did you hear that? Yeah. Did you see it? Yeah. I mean, they got proof that Mark Furman was saying the N-word all over the place. He was talking about how you beat up a suspect until they confess. He was talking about in the precinct, there's many... Uh, African-American uh, suspects that was beaten or even murdered right in the precinct and uh, that they kept hitting. He was also talking about how there were times where their hands was bleeding for beating up an African-American suspect so they went out and had to wash their hands. Yo, that episode was crazy. And uh, Christopher Darton character I mean, it got to the place where he couldn't even um, stay in the courtroom when they was about to uh, cross-examine Mark Furman. Did you see that? Yeah, wow. That was deep. That was crazy. And uh, the Marsha Clark character, I mean, she was just losing it. Yeah. I mean, and you know, it's, it's really weird because uh, I remember the trial and it just kind of drove everybody crazy i mean people you know they wanted to know the truth they wanted to know that you know the oj really do this and if he did he should be you know convicted or whatever but i'm telling you people is just like running around you know what i'm saying i mean it was a lot of emotions i mean the defense team and the prosecution team was dealing with a lot of emotions and marsha clark was going through a divorce herself at the time and I mean, it was really, really crazy. Now, the part that was interesting to me was that, uh, did you see when they had to go down to North Carolina and they had to try to get a motion that the tapes be released? Subpoena. They had to try to get a subpoena approved for the tapes to be in their possession. To be released, to, you know, to their possession. Yeah. So they could use it in a trial in L.A. And did you see the judge in North Carolina? Yeah. I mean, he seemed like he had something against Johnny Cochran, didn't he? Well, F. Lee Belly had to remind him he was down south. Yeah, you wasn't in California. You're not in New York. Supposedly, where the uh, mainstream, you know, uh, metropolis, you down south. You're an old Dixie. Right. You know what I'm saying? Where there's still parts of the South where there's still racism and things of that nature. Some parts of the South still fly the Confederate flag. They still show statues of Confederate soldiers. Uh, man, that was crazy. But when it was denied, um, they did an emergency appeal. And F. Lee Bailey said, well, let me, you know, do the talking, you know, from this moment. Uh, for the appeal he did the talking and what do you know I mean it was granted so they was able to take the tapes back to LA to be reviewed by the defense team as well as the prosecution Wow um, did you see the part where Judge Ito he was involved in all of this as far as his wife oh yeah yeah that's right that's right because they had Mark Furman saying that uh, Judge Ito's wife, who was a superior officer on the police department, that he don't know how that she made it that far in the police department, that he didn't like her, that he couldn't stand her. And that was Judge Ito's wife. Yeah. So Judge Ito felt that, you know what, maybe I shouldn't preside over this trial. Let another judge decide whether I should preside. And the judge, you know, he decided that uh, Judge Ito was, you know, uh, neutral enough he felt he was professional enough to be neutral and preside over uh the court case so man that was that was heavy that was heavy what'd you think about that so uh, i was thinking like wow this was all going down what how many years ago it was it was some time ago yeah it was, it was some all time ago. going down this is a great great series Oh, it's, it's, it's really, details. guys, I wish we would have brought it, uh, this review to you from episode one because it's so good. I mean, the the, the dramatization 
is really, really effective. I mean, it feels like for you young people who, you know, uh, was too young to remember, I mean, watching this series makes you feel like you're right there. You know what I'm saying? Right. And it's definitely, definitely a very effective drama, I tell you. Right. And what we didn't get to see this episode was the jury because they wasn't involved in this process with the tapes because they was trying to decide what part of the tape should a jury hear. Yeah. Well, come to find out, Judge Edo at the very end ruled that only two parts, two sentences or something in the tape, very short part of the tape was going to be for the public to hear and the jury to hear. So that didn't swing too well on Conquin's side, the defense side. They wasn't too happy about that. Yeah, but uh, to be honest, though, the actual trial, like according to the TV show, um, Johnny Cochran cross-examined Mark Furman, but actually in the actual trial, uh, F. Lee Bailey cross-examined okay. Mark Furman, and then he said, so you are telling me that you've never used the N-word. Have you used the N-word in your career? Then he said, I plead the Fifth Amendment. Mm -hmm. He said, have you ever framed an African-American person? He said, I plead the Fifth. And he said, did you plant the glove? The evidence that was used? Did you plant the glove? And what do you think Mark Furman said? I plead the Fifth. Wow, so that right there, that just raised all type of doubts in the jury's mind that, you know what, this guy may have definitely framed O.J. Simpson. You know what I mean? Well, according to this series, Mark Furman had a history of doing that, so it's wow. not his first time. Wow. So, you know, when the woman wanted to do a screenwriter, she wanted to do a screenplay about LAPD officers, you know, Mark Furman didn't know years right, or right. months down the line that so all this was going to be held against him. But what's done in the dark comes to light. So. Yeah, well, that's biblical, so it's, that's definitely true. Um, we're about to wrap it up, but before we do, um, next week, it's going to be the verdict. Right, and isn't that the finale? The this? finale. Yeah. It's going to be the verdict. It's going to be the jury verdict. So we're going to come back and talk to you guys uh, about episode 10, which will be the finale. And I'm so sorry that we didn't come to you and give reviews from episode one. Uh, we just decided to include uh, the People vs. O.J. Simpson story in an episode of Celebrity TV. But don't worry. Um, next week, we will bring information uh, for the season finale in episode 10 of The People versus O.J. Simpson. Right. I'm Busy B. This is Zola. Signing off from Celebrity TV. I'm going to holler at y'all 100. One.